Hey everyone, this is Paul. Thanks for watching today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance formula. So the distance formula tells us what the distance is between any two points on an xy plane. So we'll go ahead and draw our two points. We'll call this one x1, y1, and we'll call this point x2, y2. And these two points can represent any two points on the xy plane. And I'll draw this little dotted line between the two of them. And the distance formula that we're going to derive is going to tell us what the distance of this dotted line is. So what we need to do is we need to draw some sort of triangle, actually a right triangle involving this line here so that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line parallel to the y-axis here through that point and one parallel to the y-axis through the first point. And then I'll draw a line through the first point parallel to the x-axis and I'll draw a line through the second point parallel to the x-axis. So lines parallel to the x-axis have the same y component all along the line for any point. And lines parallel to the y-axis have the same x component along the whole line. So we're going to use that to find out how to label our triangle here. So basically what I just said, what, what I mean by that is anything that falls on this line is going to have an x component of x1. And anything that falls on this line will have an x component of x2. And that's true because these lines are parallel to the y-axis. And anything on this is going to have a y component of y1, and on this line a y component of y2. So we're going to go ahead and look at the triangle I just drew here. I'll highlight it in blue. And we're going to apply the Pythagorean Theorem to it. So let's just go ahead and redraw that blue triangle right here. And the Pythagorean Theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'll just go ahead and write that down. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is the Pythagorean Theorem here and we're going to use it to find the distance formula, but we want to rename A and B first. So A represents the distance from here to here. Well, we know that the distance in the x direction from here to here is x2, but that's too far. We don't need this little piece right here, and that little piece is equal to the distance x1. So this becomes x2 minus x1. So our a is x2 minus x1. So we'll just go ahead and write that too, or write that also. x2 minus x1. And the b from here to here is y2, but we don't need this piece. And from here to here, this is the distance y1. So the distance in between is going to be y2 minus y1. So a is equal to x2 minus x1, b is equal to y2 minus y1, and c is just c. That's what we're going to solve for. That's our distance. So because it's distance, let's just rename the c's to d for distance. So I'm going to just rewrite this as d squared equals a squared plus b squared. I didn't change anything. I just reversed the order that it was written in. The d is now on the left-hand side, and the a and b are on the right-hand side. So we almost have the distance formula now. Let's just go ahead and rewrite this in terms of x and y. So distance squared is equal to a squared or x squared or x2 minus x1 squared. Since we determined that our x2 minus x1 was equivalent to a. And our b squared now becomes y2 minus y1 squared because y2 minus y1 equals b. 
And then we simply want to take the square root of both sides. And we about have it now. And anything that is squared under a square root, the square and the square root simply undo each other, and so we're just left with d. So by using the Pythagorean theorem, we derived the distance formula. The distance between any two points on the xy plane is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And in the next tutorial, I will be showing you examples on how to use the distance formula. So this tutorial was just to show you what the distance formula was and how you can derive it by using the Pythagorean theorem. So stay tuned for my next tutorial and I will be using some examples and showing you how you can apply the distance formula to some points. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe.